today's decision is baked in, but we're looking to see uh, what Powell and the Fed say about February and further. Yeah, man, it's a little weird. It's sort of like we're all going to a show, but cast members have been out telling us what the plot is throughout the last couple of weeks. We're pretty much uh, certain of what's going to happen today. As you mentioned, a 50 basis point increase that would put the target rate between four and four and a quarter percent. We'll also get a reminder that they're going to keep raising rates. They probably won't put a number on it. Uh, they will also warn Wall Street that once they get to the peak rate, they're going to keep it in place for some time. The the uh, word from the New York Fed President John Williams was it would be throughout 2023. It's going to be interesting from a market standpoint the, how much information they get on that. And then we're going to get new economic forecasts and a new dot plot. Now you take a look at the dot plot and there's a couple of things uh, going on there that are important to note. One is that 2023 refers to the whole year. So that's not going to immediately tell us where rates will be at the end of of the year, but we will see if they think they need to move it higher. And the red line there on the bottom, and for those of you on the radio, you've got sort of two parallel lines with the market anticipating rate cuts coming during the year, and the Fed in its September projections making no rate cut forecasts. Will that change? Also on that chart there, and I'm sorry you can't see it on radio, but you do have a big spread in 2024 among the members of the Fed. Are are they going to compress that like 22 and 23? And are we going to see more unanimity about where rates go? Or are they still going to be very uncertain? Uh, we're looking at market rates. We're seeing that markets and do anticipate that by May, and this is from our ECAN economic analyzer, uh, by May we're going to see the markets, uh, the markets expect rather, the Fed's uh, target rate to be well above the inflation rate. And that's a good stopping point to historically historically for the Fed. So uh, there's going to be probably a takeaway from this meeting, guys, that we're going to see some dispute over how high they have to go and how long mm -hmm. and whether the markets will buy that or not. 